Hey everybody, Dajawi here with a, another episode in my Game Block Decoded series. This one's a little bit different. I'm featuring one of my models that I'm putting on the shop here. It is a car AI kit. Um, and basically it just has four cubes that are pre-programmed. It has two tires. It has a nose for the front of your vehicle and an engine. And then the red is just an instruction block. Um, it takes you through step-by-step and some of the finer points of how to use it. Um, I This is what it's gonna look like in the shop. It doesn't look like much, but I will show you how to use it in this video here. I'm also using this in conjunction with this level I will be releasing um, to attract some more attention to it, the video on YouTube and the model. So it's kind of a three, three prong deal here. So I'm hoping everybody enjoys it. Now, what you do, each of the blocks, gold cubes is numbered down here at the bottom, right? It doesn't do anything. I just put it there for ease of use. You can take it out when you're done with it if you really want to. Um, but what you do is you put number one at the corner closest to your vehicle, okay? So number one sits there and you want it to be one block off the ground, okay? So we don't want that one yet. We want you. Number two goes to the second corner and you're gonna see where this gets pretty easy because obviously the third one goes to the third corner um, and it can be you know it can be this next block here which is what I am gonna make it just because if I can actually grab the stupid thing okay So put your third block on the third corner, make sure that it is up one, make sure all of them are up one. It just works better that way, um, doesn't really interfere with anything per se, but uh, it can. So I just put it off the ground. Um, most of my stuff I just end up putting off the ground because um, for loot, stuff, of things like that, it just seems to work better. So I've got all of my blocks set up, you know, about where I want them. And next comes the car parts. So there's the instructions, goodbye instructions. Um, your tires obviously go on your vehicle where the tires go. That's pretty self-explanatory. So those go there. The nose needs to go close to the ground. Um, you know, next to the ground, you can have a structure that hides. It doesn't matter as long as this piece is right by the ground there. Um, it's gonna hide anyway when we play it. And then your engine needs to be faced the right direction and put into, into your vehicle near the front. So, you know, at least a, a, if it's not the front block, make it the next block back if you can. Uh, it just works better when, you, when it does the braking. Because um, what it also does is when the character gets close to it, which needs to be tagged with a hero tag, which Dajawe is, little Dadge is, um, it will break. So uh, let me go ahead and play this. I think the speed's a little off. Um, I'm not sure why it's doing it in this level. It wasn't in the other one, uh, but we can do we can fix that pretty easily once we get over to it. So let's put this at 12 and just try that. I think it has something to do with the fact that I'm on the block streets, um, which for some reason those textures mess a lot of stuff up. Um, and I think it's still gonna be slow, but it's a little bit faster. But in any case, um, I will, continue this video after a short little break um, just to to show you exactly how it works and I'll get the speed you know locked in all right okay so what I've done is I have modified the vehicle a little bit I changed all of the masses um, which you can do pretty easily just by adding the mass tag or mass action and right here and making it zero, which means it basically doesn't weigh anything. So I could push this thing as much as I wanted really, really easily. So I'm gonna show you, even with the speed all the way up, the wheels aren't really going that fast. Um, I'm not 100% sure why. 
the biggest the biggest thing for this is just making sure you put the pieces in the right places, uh, making sure that all of it is uh, set up properly. Um, and it, it's pretty lenient. You can change the size on the tires. Uh, you can change the position of uh, the nose to be sitting farther back if you wanted that. Um, I've got it to where it's, it's fairly smooth. It's not as smooth as I would necessarily like it. Um, if it were going a little faster, that might be an issue. Um, and what I'll probably do is show you um, my other, the other city level that I have this in. So that makes a little bit more sense um, as far as the speed. I don't know what I did differently, to be honest. To tell you the truth, I think it has something to do with the texture on the ground here because it's not a full, you know, this isn't a proper flat, city um the city one the other city one that i have is you know a proper ground texture um, which may be why it works a little bit better i'm not really sure um but you can see that it works here and we're gonna go ahead and jump into my other world so you can see it work just a little bit better because um, this thing just does not seem to want to work go 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 does not seem to want to work um, as well on this one. So let me give me one second here and I will show you the other world. Okay, so here we are in my Blocks World City. If you saw my uh, two cents video on my update, you got a really good look at it. Um, but I have my vehicle here and you can see that the tires are set to eight on all of them. Um, I don't know why it wasn't working again. I think my theory is just that those that ground texture just does not work very well um, for vehicles and such. So we're here on the other one to show you exactly how this works and I'll have to run over to it because well I've got my my guy over here. This was another experiment um, that kind of went okay um, just using the sliding bars and models um, it gets stuck um, and it doesn't repeat the way that I want it to repeat. Um, it goes back and then the slider bar goes all the way back there and starts over again and appears. Um, I really just wanted a little bit more interactivity in my levels. So see, th see this truck is going so much faster on this street and that's at 8. So as you can see it comes to the corner and it turns and this is a little bit smoother. Uh, you don't really want to play with the model too much, uh, but you can soften the turns by increasing the close to. And I don't recommend messing with them too much because messing with them even a little bit can screw them up. So as you can see, the, just for some reason it works a lot better on this ground than it did on the other one. And I think it has something to do again with that that's not a true ground texture um, on that that piece. Um, this one I think is actually segmented, if I remember correctly. It's actually segmented pretty well um, to be just a texture on the ground and not have to have like a, a small block. Either that or they've phantomed it or, or something. In any case, uh, that was my car AI model. Um, that is how you put it together. This is how it works uh, when, it's, when it works properly. Works on flat land really well. Uh, one of the things that I did do um, on the other one that you may want to consider is when you're, whatever you're attaching your nose to um, and all bottom pieces towards the ground, go ahead and make them phantom. Uh, that way there's just not as much of a chance of them getting messed up. So I'm going to do that here. Um, and I haven't, this in this world, I haven't changed this model at all. So the masses aren't changed or anything. So obviously just something going on with that particular uh, world that I probably shouldn't have chosen to do this in. Um, so again, making that phantom, all that's really going to do is it's just going to keep it from getting hung up on anything on the ground so that it, it just goes on its merry way. 
Now these vehicles are easy to push. Um, you can adjust them a little bit to make them harder to push out of the way. Um, but the other cool feature that I have in this model um, is if your Blockster is walking around, um, it will actually break. And I might have to set that a little bit higher because, well, he's not really not really breaking for that. But I had tested it on a smaller model, so I expected some difficulties. Anyway, hope this helps. Hey everybody, quick amendment to my video here. Um, I had figured out what was wrong. Um, so when you pull the model down, everything is fixed now with the triangle tag in here. Um, but originally, the original one that I had made that I was trying to use for the video had the hero tag. And on the engine, it has the hero tag breaking the wheels so that it slowed down, you know, pretended like it was an actual car and not hit our hero, right? But this had the hero tag. So the speed was just limited. Um, now, so that isn't to say, or that is to say that the ground texture on the city streets is just fine. It was just my silly tagging problem. So instead of the hero tag on there, it is now a triangle tag and it is on the model that will be on the shop. So don't worry about the speed issues. You won't have any. Um, and just to show you, well, let's take, let's take Mr. out here. There we go. That way there won't be any confusion on this thing. So it goes, it goes, it goes. It works just fine. The speed is fine. It was just my silly tag issue that was causing all of the problems. So it goes um, and it works on bumpy terrain, not too, too bumpy. And the way that I have it built, it doesn't come up this little incline without some help. Again, like I said, you can increase the size of the tires. You can do whatever you want as long as that little round nose piece is right on the ground, right? So just right next to the ground, which you know it's on the front of my little van here. Anyway, so that was the fix for that. Uh, I'm glad I spent so much of the video talking about what problems it was causing and all of that other stuff. So um, in any case, it works, it's great, and I think you should get it. Uh, as a side note, I am going, I am putting it up for 30 coins at the moment. And I think that's a fair price. A lot of AI that doesn't work um, is more expensive, or at least I haven't gotten it to work. And it doesn't really have any support videos. Um, so outside of that, please be sure to bookmark and follow me in Blocks World. It is Dajawe, D-A-J-A-W-E. And also be remember to like, subscribe, and bell my channel. Uh, I won't be uploading a ton ton every week, so I'm not going to annoy your subscription tab. Thanks everybody, and I hope to see you in Blocks World. As always, like it if you like it. Dajawe, out.